Hi Pisces, welcome to your Spirit Guide Messages for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're going to see what Spirit wants to tell you at this time. So we're going to pull three oracles uh, from each deck, clarified with tarot. So please keep in mind, not every message here may resonate for you. Only take what resonates. Uh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. So if you would like a private reading, all that uh, information is down below in the description box. Tons of stuff down there. Feel free to check that out. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what Spirit wants you to know at this time, Pisces. What does Spirit need to tell Pisces at this time? Thank you so much. Three most important messages for Pisces. I'm going to pull all the oracles first, and then we'll look at them. And then we'll put some tarot on top to give some more clarification and meaning to each message. So like I said, not every single message may be for you. So only take it how it resonates for you and if it resonates for you. If you find um, that a lot of the messages here don't resonate for you, you can go back and watch past readings. I do consider all my readings timeless. Links below to your uh, playlist, Love in General. You'll find the spirit messages under the general playlist. If you choose to do that, I consider them timeless. So disregard the dates. If you see something that catches your eye, I would say definitely watch it. So we have the fairies the mermaids, and the unicorns. So we sort of have like a magical, mythical theme going here this month. And if you're new to the channel and you like the way I read, my style, you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. And uh, don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified. I do all kind of readings. Every sign gets four readings a month and they're all different. So there's something for everybody. And uh, sometimes five, if you get the bonus reading, where we take a look at love and more. So you get a little bit of everything in your bonus reading. All right, for Pisces, so for the unicorns here. Wow, so we got two. And we'll take the bottom of the deck. All right. Let's see what we have for Pisces from the fairies. We have moving forward fearlessly. So moving forward here. So we get to the tarot. We'll see what that entails. So that could be from anything. You could be moving forward in a new direction in life, uh, to a new job, to a new career, making a move, a physical move, moving on from something and going forward and not having any fear, worry, stress, or anxiety. And just going forward and taking that positive movement forward and just going for it. Spirit wants you to do that. We have vacation. So this just came out for Scorpio. So much needed vacation, though we're all kind of on lockdown vacation right now. It's not really the vacation that we want. But uh, if you are working here, uh, some of us are still working. I know I'm still working. I'm an uh, essential worker. So if you are an essential worker and still working, uh, maybe you know down the road here we'll all soon be getting a much needed vacation. I was lucky enough to get a vacation last, um, actually a couple weeks ago. So... Hopefully you get a vacation soon, or it's telling you to make the most out of your time right now. Although it's not a vacation we want right now if you're not working, to make the most of it. Spend your time wisely. And then we have here, follow your dreams. So it's about going after what you want. And not giving up. Going after those dreams, goals, and ambitions, and remaining positive, and moving forward fearlessly. So we have from the mermaids. You are being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see results yet. So just know, even though you're moving forward fearlessly and you're following your dreams, you may not see the results you want yet, but just know that they're coming and the universe is working in your favor to keep moving forward. And we have positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. So this is telling you, again, to stay in that positive energy and only surround yourself in that energy. And we have contemplation time. Spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. And that's falling right under follow your dreams. And it's both that green energy. Green represents can represent the heart chakra. Also, also can represent to me like growth, expansion, that kind of energy. 
grounding yourself, being stable. So it's time to think and contemplate here what you truly want as into following your dreams. Manifesting and meditating what you truly desire. We have a parrot here and we have a parrot here. So some of you may be dreaming of a tropical vacation. It's kind of what I'm feeling. All right, so let's see here. We have pets. You love and understand animals. So this is telling you to uh, remain connected to your pets. If you have any, maybe you're wanting to get a pet and you're not sure. This is telling you that um, pets can be very beneficial to you. So, you know, if it's getting a dog or a cat or whatever your desire is, what kind of pet, um, maybe it's a good time right now to get a new pet. We have happy surprise. Something very good is about to happen. Oh, something good. Surprise. Could be someone surprising you with a new pet. Especially if your birthday's coming. Well, Pisces, you would have already had your birthday. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe you got a surprise <laughs> for your birthday and it was a new pet. And we have happy thoughts. To feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. Maybe, you know, some of you had a pet that passed on and you're thinking of the happy thoughts you had with that pet and it's like, you know, maybe it's time to get a new pet. Maybe someone's going to surprise you, even if it's not your birthday, with a new pet. We'll see. Okay, so let's clarify these energies for you, Pisces. Clarify these energies for you, Pisces, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Show me what I need to see. To clarify these energies for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus, Jupiter, male or female, for the general collective. What is moving forward carelessly about for Pisces? Okay, I'm feeling these two. Wow, so we have the Six of Wands and the Princess of Wands. So this is the Page of Wands, and this is so there's a lot of fiery, passionate energy here. So the Prince of Wands is about good news coming in, or like an offer, exciting offer, a new project, endeavor, idea, some sort of communication about that, whether you're communicating to someone about this or someone coming to you or something coming in. But we have the Six of Wands here, which is success, victory, accomplishment, and moving forward fearlessly in this new opportunity or offer or, um, oppor you know, idea or creative project or endeavor or whatever it is here, bringing in victory. So Spirit is saying to keep moving forward fearlessly with a lot of drive, passion, and ambition because your victory is coming here to keep moving forward, not to give up that passion. Wow, okay. So let's see what vacation is about for Pisces. Okay, feeling these two. So we have the Fool and we have the Moon. Well, there's your energy, Pisces, with the Moon. So, you know, the Moon can be about not seeing the path clearly. It can also be about deep feelings. It can be about fear, uh, being unsure, you know, in the moonlight kind of energy intuition so maybe that you know during this time during this lockdown i know it's not really a vacation but it sort of sort of kind of is you know but uh you know the fool is about taking a leap of faith restarting at zero having a fresh new start and jumping right in trusting the universe but here we're thinking about we're not sure about this new start because we feel like we don't know the path clearly we can't see the path clearly so we have a little fear about that you know, maybe it's time at vacation here to take a little break from this energy so that you can think more clearly and uh, come, come back to this decision or this new journey when you feel like your uh, mind is clear and you feel more sure about um, this new start here, whatever that is for you. All right, so let's see here. You know, just trust your intuition. But this um, new journey, whatever it is for you, this new start. All right, so what is Follow Your Dreams about for Pisces? So we have the Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles. So the Hermit here, again, is about thinking, contemplating, uh, soul-searching, reflecting, uh, finding your path, your way, your light. So I feel like here we're doing some, Spirit wants you to do some deep soul-searching, thinking, contemplating about your dreams 
and this is working on them, the Eight of Pentacles. could be a new career opportunity, a new job, or something like that, going in a whole new direction with your career that you've always wanted to do. And this is really thinking about it and then making a decision here and actually working on it, putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work to follow your dreams after thinking about it long and hard. Spirit wants you to think about that because you will have to put in that dedicated effort and the hard work to do so. So let's see what you're being helped is. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results yet. What is that for Pisces? We have the Seven of Swords. Okay. So we have, wow, the Chariot, the Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. So this is you not seeing that Heaven's divine energy is working behind the scenes for you. This is an energy of feeling like giving up the fight. It's not worth it anymore. It's a losing battle. But no, it's saying here you are being helped even though you don't see it. And this is to keep persevering on, having the strength, courage, bravery, to keep fighting on, not giving up, even though you may feel like it's a battle, it's a fight, because we do have positive movement forward. Taking that positive movement forward, being successful, victorious, balanced, and having all that drive and ambition. So this is keep moving on, don't give up, even though you feel like giving up, feeling it's like a losing battle, because heaven is helping and you will see the results, and then we'll be victorious and balanced. Keep persevering on, however that means for you. So positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations, and avoid negativity. So we have the Hierophant and the Three of Wands. So the Hierophant, again, is about faith, spirituality, religion. It's about morals and values, integrity, doing what's moral, just, and right. can also talk about um, institutional energies as in higher learning, education, the law, government, all that kind of energy also. can also be wise counsel, a leader, a teacher. And the three of wands, though, is about patiently waiting for ships to come in. So again, you know, I think if you're waiting, again, waiting for a ship to come in or waiting for the results you want or waiting for something to go in your favor or something like that, it's telling you to, again, keep the faith, keep the faith, the spirituality, hope um, kind of energy, pray, meditate. You know, if you need to get advice, guidance, do that also because this is all positive energy, you know, with the Hierophant and stay committed to the journey that you see coming that you're heading towards, though it's not here yet and you're waiting. Stay committed to that journey and only be in this positive spiritual energy. All right, so what is contemplation time? Spend time alone meditating for what you desire. So we have the Ace of Wands and there's that fiery, passionate new beginning. Again, could be the spark of a creative new idea, um, a new journey, idea, a project, something exciting that you feel passionate about what you truly desire. This is a lot of desire with the Ace of Wands. It's a golden opportunity, something uh, coming in divinely guided for you that you feel uh, very excited about. Seven of Pentacles, though, you know, thinking about it, assessing, analyzing, evaluating. Do I invest? Do I not invest? Patiently waiting, just waiting it out. Let's see how it goes. So you may, and it may be like a new business opportunity or working from home or something like that, and you're worried it may be a failure. So you're really thinking about this, about what you truly desire. So it's telling you to think, analyze, assess this whole situation, this brand new opportunity to uh, contemplate if you really want to invest in this or not. So let's get one more. So should we invest? Should we not invest in this new opportunity? For Pisces, please, Spirit, thank you so much. The Five of Pentacles. So this is, yeah, worried about failure, loss, uh, monetary material lack. Feeling like it may be a failure and you may actually lose in the long run. But yeah, needing to make a judgment call here. A final decision on this situation. Oh boy, so where is this going? Three of Swords, a heartache. Wow, not getting good energy, so... Eight of Swords being mentally trapped. But we do have the Empress here. Emperor Empress. 
So this is about being a leader. It's knowing value and worth, being that business owner, entrepreneur kind of energy. Birth of something new. So we do have the birth of something new here. But there's an energy of being stuck in your head, worried about heartache and pain and loss, needing to make a judgment call. Again, worried about the loss, feeling like you may lose out in the end and deciding whether or not to invest in this opportunity here. But we do have the Empress energy here, which can be the birth of something new, which could lead to a lot of growth, abundance, success, victory um, in the future. So I think it, a lot of this energy is maybe just stuck in your head thinking the worst, and that's why we have to stay in this positive energy. You don't know unless you try. Give it a shot. You can always back out. So thinking about what you truly desire there. So pets, you love and understand animals. So we have the Two of Pentacles. So you may be juggling around the idea to make a change to get a new pet, especially if you lost a pet in the past, maybe even up to two years ago, and you're wondering... Geez, I don't know. Is it time to get a new pet? So we do have uh, divinely guided energy here with temperance. It's about peace, balance, healing, patience. And we do have the Princess of Pentacles. So this is something stable, an offer coming in. Um, somebody may offer to bring you a pet or get you a pet to make this change. And you're juggling around the idea, geez, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's even been up to two months since you lost a pet and you're not sure. But this brings in what's divinely guided for you. And I think if that opportunity comes your way, I think this can bring you a lot of peace, harmony, and balance and healing energy also. Very stable energy here with the uh, Princess of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Okay, so let's see... What the happy surprise is about, something very good is about to happen. Happy surprise. So we've got the King of Swords. Somebody may be del delivering you some news, some very good news. Um, you've been waiting on maybe truth of a situation. This could be also legal counsel in some way, shape, or form um, in some way. Russian in here with truth and clarity and honest communication that you've been waiting for. That's like good news and a happy surprise in some way, whatever that means for you. What else? Two of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So whatever this is, it could um, have to do with money or materials, things. <clears throat> Somebody rushing in here, setting, shedding truth, light, clarity on a situation. Feeling you're at a crossroads, not sure what to do here. With the Two of Wands energy, but I feel like with this happy surprise and someone rushing in with this clarity that you need, because you're at a crossroads, but now all of a sudden, you know, if it's news about money or a work or a career or something here, it enables you now to be in this Queen of Pentacles where now you're financially set, you're stable, you're grounded, uh, independent, can take care of yourself, have everything you need. Growth, abundance for the future. So that's a good energy. So we have happy thoughts to feel happier right now. Think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. What is that about for Pisces? For Pisces, please. One. Let's get one more. Happy thoughts. So we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Devil. So the devil can be negative energy, can be low self-esteem, negative thinking, um, kind of energy, fear, doubt, you know, that kind of low vibrational energy, or it can be, you know, addictions, obsessions, or something like that. But we have the Nine of Pentacles. It's a very stable, secure, grounded, uh, independent energy. It's like the minor of the, like, king or queen of Pentacles or the emperor and the empress. So... If you're in this low vibrational energy of feeling doubt, fear, worry, anxiety, you know, low self-esteem, whatever it is here for you, just know that you have some sort of energy coming in here where there'll be some sort of gain. Just remain happy. Think of happy times. Try to get out of this negative energy because you do have all this growth, abundance, practicality, stable, independent energy. So stay. try to stay in that happy energy, not in that low vibrational Kind of uh, devil energy, toxic energy. So what else here? 
or Pisces. Five of Cups. Yeah, feeling kind of sad, disappointment, hurt, loneliness, loss. Feeling overburdened, overwhelmed about something here. But we have the Ten of Pentacles. So wealth. So again, this could be about money or monetary or something. Or this can talk about marriage or getting married or engaged and having a lifelong companion, lifelong partner where you share everything together, family dynamic and legacy and the sharing of everything, having that growth abundance for the long term and never having to worry here and being very uh, wealthy and abundant. Because we do have oppression, but then we have wealth. We have disappointment, but then we have gain. We have the devil energy and then we have happy thoughts. So we have like opposing energies back and forth, but I feel like you have some sort of wealth and gain coming your way. So it's time to stay in some uh, positive energy here and think of happy thoughts. Kind of energy, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, best of luck to you and sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.